From the gleaming skylines to the dazzling red carpets, gold has been the symbol of wealth and prestige for centuries. But have you ever wondered how these shimmering gold bars come to life? From deep within the earth to the grandeur of the world's most prestigious vaults? Well, today, you're in for a treat! Welcome back, Luxor Enthusiasts! It's your host, Luxor Idol, here with another exclusive peek into the world of opulence and extravagance. Today, we're diving deep into the heart of luxury, uncovering the secrets behind one of the most coveted treasures known to humankind, pure gold bars. We're taking you on an exclusive journey deep into the heart of a gold refinery that transforms raw gold into the purest, most exquisite bars you've ever laid eyes on. From the moment the gold ore is extracted to the meticulous refining process and the mesmerizing transformation of molten gold into perfect bars, every step is a symphony of precision and craftsmanship. So if you're ready to embark on this golden adventure, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. You won't want to miss a single glittering moment of this exclusive behind-the-scenes look at the production and manufacturing of pure gold bars. Gold bars, also called bullion or gold bricks, are pure gold that's been refined into different shapes by companies that follow specific rules for making, labeling, and keeping records. A big gold bar created by pouring melted gold into a mold is known for an ingot. Smaller bars can be produced by shaping or stamping gold sheets that have been properly rolled. The typical gold bar kept by central banks as a reserved and traded by gold dealers is a 400 troy ounce or 12.4 kilograms good delivery gold bar. Bars weighing 1,000 grams are equivalent to 32.15 troy ounces and bars of 100 troy ounces are more convenient and commonly used for buying and selling. These bars are priced at a lower premium than the current gold market rate, making them a practical choice for transferring money between banks and traders in smaller quantities. While most kilo bars are flat, some investors, particularly in Europe, prefer them in the shape of bricks. Manufacturing a pure gold bar involves several steps, from mining and refining the raw materials to producing a finished product. Here's a detailed step-by-step -step process. Gold Mining Gold mining is the crucial initial stage in the production of pure gold bars. It commences with gold exploration where geological experts and exploration teams assess potential gold-rich areas through geological surveys and research. Once a promising site is identified, site preparation activities such as clearing land and establishing infrastructure follow. Choosing the appropriate mining method, whether open pit, underground, or placer mining depends on factors like the depth of the deposit and environmental considerations. Ore extraction involves heavy machinery to remove and transport the ore to processing facilities where it is crushed and ground into a fine powder for subsequent processing. Responsible and sustainable mining practices are essential in the gold mining industry due to environmental and safety concerns. This process lays the foundation for the subsequent steps of ore processing and refining which ultimately result in the production of pure gold bars. Gold mining is a complex and meticulously planned endeavor that requires a combination of geological expertise, technological know-how, and adherence to environmental regulations to extract valuable gold from the Earth's crust. Crushing and Grinding Crushing and grinding are fundamental steps in the gold mining process, serving to break down extracted ore into manageable fragments and then into fine powder. Crushers and grinding mills are employed for this task, with crushers reducing the ore size initially and grinding mills further refining it. These processes prepare the ore for subsequent stages in gold extraction enhancing its accessibility for further processing methods like cyanidation, flotation, and gravity separation. Crucially, the effectiveness and precision of crushing and grinding operations directly impact the overall efficiency of gold recovery. 
Achieving the desired particle size is essential for unlocking the gold particles from the surrounding rock or sediment, enabling efficient gold extraction. Therefore, employing advanced machinery and maintaining strict control over these stages is paramount in the gold manufacturing process as it ensures that the gold-bearing ore is properly prepared for subsequent refining and ultimate results in the production of pure gold bars. Gold Ore Processing Gold ore processing is a pivotal stage in the creation of pure gold bars involving several methods to separate valuable gold from other minerals and impurities within the ore. Cyanidation is a primary technique wherein crushed ore is mixed with water and cyanide solutions to selectively dissolve gold. This allows the isolation of gold from non-valuable minerals with a gold-bearing solution undergoing further purification steps to obtain pure gold. Gravity separation is another important method capitalizing on differences in density to separate heavy gold particles from lighter gauge minerals using devices like centrifugal concentrators and shaking tables. For ore containing sulfide minerals, flotation is employed, making gold-bearing minerals hydrophobic so that they attach to air bubbles and float to the surface. Heap leaching, suitable for low-grade or fine ores, involves stacking crushed ore in heaps and percolating cyanide solution through them to dissolve the gold. Gold ore processing is a multifaceted process that combines chemical and physical techniques to maximize gold extraction while minimizing environmental impact. The choice of processing method depends on various factors including ore type, grade, and environmental considerations. Efficient management of these processes is critical to ensure high-quality gold recovery and the production of pure gold bars aligning with both industry standards and environmental regulations. Precipitation Precipitation is a vital step in gold refining, where a precipitating agent, often zinc dust or aluminum powder, is added to a gold-bearing solution to cause a chemical reaction. This reaction results in the formation of solid gold particles known as a gold precipitate or door. The gold precipitate is separated from the solution and further processed to achieve the desired purity level before it can be cast into pure gold bars or ingots. Precipitation serves as a key method for efficiently recovering gold from a solution allowing for the production of high-quality gold products. Smelting Smelting is a pivotal process in gold manufacturing, involving the heating of materials like gold precipitate to high temperatures to melt the gold and separate it from impurities and base metals. This smelting process takes place in a furnace or kiln. With the intense heat causing the gold to liquefy while impurities either form a slag or remain solid, the molten gold is carefully poured into molds where it cools and solidifies, taking on the desired shape of gold bars or ingots. Rigorous quality control ensures that the resulting gold bars meet industry standards for weight, dimensions, and purity, making smelting a critical step in producing high-quality and pure gold products. Refining Refining is a vital step in gold manufacturing occurring after smelting with the primary aim of achieving the highest possible level of purity for the gold. It involves either chemical or electrolytic methods to eliminate remaining impurities and contaminants. In chemical refining, gold is dissolved in strong acids and impurities are removed. While in electrolytic refining, an electric current is used to plate out pure gold from a gold-containing electrolyte. Precise control is crucial and multiple refining passes may be required to attain the desired purity. Quality control ensures the refined gold meets industry standards. Once refined, the gold can be cast into its final form, such as bars or ingots, stamped with purity and weight markings. Refining is essential for producing high-purity gold suitable for various applications. Casting Gold Bars 
Casting gold bars is a key step in gold manufacturing following the refining process. It involves melting the purified gold and carefully pouring it into molds to create bars or ingots of specific dimensions and weight. The molds shape the gold as it cools and solidifies. Stamped markings on the bars indicate their weight, purity, and often the producer's identity. Quality control checks ensure compliance with industry standards. Packaging is done to protect the bars during transportation and storage. This process produces high-quality gold bars suitable for various applications including investment and industrial use. Stamping and Marking Stamping and marking are crucial processes in gold manufacturing involving the inscribing of specific information on gold bars. This information typically includes the weight, purity, serial number, and producer's identity. Stamping is done using specialized machinery with engraved stamps, leaving indented impressions on the gold surface. These markings serve to authenticate the gold, ensure its quality, and provide transparency for buyers and investors. They also help manufacturers comply with industry regulations and standards. Stamped information is essential for verifying the weight, purity, and origin of gold bars. Contributing to trust and confidence in the gold market. Packaging, storage, and distribution. These are integral phases in the gold manufacturing process that occur after gold has been refined, cast into bars, and stamped with relevant information. These processes ensure the secure and efficient handling of gold products. Packaging involves protective materials to shield the gold during transportation and storage. Storage is typically insecure vaults equipped with stringent security measures to safeguard the gold from theft and environmental risks. Distribution involves the careful transport of gold from storage facilities to end users or intermediaries, often including banks, financial institutions, jewelry manufacturers, or individual investors. Together, this process facilitates the secure movement and custody of valuable gold products while maintaining transparency and trust in the gold market. And there you have it, dear luxury aficionados! We peeled back the layers of secrecy surrounding the mesmerizing world of pure gold bars, taking you on unforgettable journey from mine to the vault. We've witnessed the awe-inspiring craftsmanship, the precision and dedication that go into crafting these exquisite treasures. Pure gold bars aren't just a commodity. They're a testament to the pinnacle of human achievement and desire for the finer things in life. I hope you've enjoyed this exclusive look into the world of luxury manufacturing. If you found this video as captivating as I did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow luxury enthusiasts. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to Luxury Idol Tips and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on our future journeys into the lap of luxury.